Hi YouTube family and friends. Today we're going to be showing y'all how we make DIY bath bombs. And it looks like this. Looks like this. If y'all can see it. Let's see. It looks like this. And we have several different colors. Okay. So, um, the we're going to do the dry ingredients first. And for the dry ingredients, you're going to need a cup, one cup of baking soda. We make it two different kinds, so we're using two different bowls. Yeah, it's me, Katrina. Usually I'd be holding the camera, but nope. Today I'm she's right off here. in the video. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to start filling this up. Baking soda. That looks really was yesterday. Okay, I got my cup. One cup for this one. So now you don't have to go pay all that money for a bath bomb. You can actually make yeah. it yourself. It costs like $5. Okay, you got one cup of baking soda. Ooh. One cup of citric acid. And you can get this um, at Walmart. I got it at Walmart by um, the, the mason jars. You can find it there. Was it in one cup? Where did my one cup go? I Me, mean, no, it's a half cup. I was looking for the one that I already had. Oh, oh right there. It's right there. <laughs> okay, you're going to need a half a cup of citric acid. You can use gloves to do this, but it ain't necessary. If you're sensitive to. You know, something off in here. I recommend wearing a glove, but I'm not. Whoa, they look, it's blue. I know. I'm not, so I don't need no gloves because I, I already made this like a lot already. Okay, you got to get your baking soda and your cornstarch next. That's not the baking soda. Huh? Me, Epsom salt. My bad. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, you're gonna need a half a cup um, cornstarch, half a cup. Everything is a half a cup besides the um, baking soda. The baking soda is a um, one cup. Having trouble getting that out, so I'm just gonna use my spoon to scoop it off in to make sure I get one cup. One cup of cornstarch. Okay, you're gonna need a cup of I'm just gonna scoop this. You're gonna need a cup of a half a cup of um Elma salt. And then you're just going to mix all of this together. Here's the top for that. And you're going to mix it. And break up all the pieces. Make sure it's very thin. Off in here, we're going to use some vitamin C and some extra olive oil. Or Katrina can use coconut oil and I use extra oil, olive oil. The different ones? Yeah, three to, two different oil. We're okay. going to use vitamin C. Oh. If you have chunks off in there like this, just take them out and throw it to the side. What was that? That was salt. Oh.
And you gotta be careful because the wood chains will make you sneeze. So I'm breaking, I'm mixing it all together and making sure I'm breaking every four pieces of it up. I'm doing this with my older daughter. Majority of the time when I'm making videos, she's behind the camera, but And I'm today, talking behind the camera? <laughs> yeah. Today she's off in the camera. So I'm going to start off with some... Some vitamin E. Just gonna drop it off in there, and you're gonna mix it up, and it's gonna form clumps. So you well, just mix I didn't it see. up. How much did you put it in? Just put put some drops off in there. And vitamin E is good for you. Is it? Yeah. What is it supposed to do? It's good for your skin. I don't know, I just gotta ask these questions. Just gonna make sure you make all the clumps out. And you don't wanna go fast with this recipe because you wanna make sure you, you don't wanna waste all of this for no reason. You wanna make sure you um, make it so you can enjoy your background. Okay, so I'm gonna use co um, extra virgin oil off of mine, and she's gonna use coconut oil. Oh, you need a um, little deal? Yeah. Just put some off in there. Just one thing spoon? No, not the whole thing spoon. Oh, just some. Because you can always add. Okay, so I got mine's off in there. I put three, three capfuls off in. If you want to know how much I put off in there, I don't know how much I put in. <laughs> Just waking it up. That. And Whoops. there's little Katrina making a mess. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. You need some more? No. You said no, but you grabbed <laughs> it. Okay, Katrina don't know what she's doing over <laughs> here besides making a mess. I did it perfectly the other day. I'm so sorry. Okay, if it can clump up. Without breaking up, then you good. But like mine's is still breaking up, so therefore I'm gonna add more off in there. And the color that I'm gonna be using for my bath bomb is a purple. I'm gonna be using regular purple. <laughs> Good thing it's water. I mean, not water. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's easy to do that. So I'm going to sprinkle my purple off in. And mix it around. I'm just mixing all of purple color off here. <sighs> this takes forever. What color do you want that we haven't used? Uh, That's enough, Trina. Is it? Is it? Use two. Use two of these, yeah. Because okay, um, this is a little different. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm making right now. Okay, I'm mixing mine around. And this is the color purple that I want. So, you can add glitter off in there. What did you do with the glitter? You can add glitter off in. 
I'm going to be adding some gold glitter in mine. What? You can't add glitter in it? Oh, shoot. So I'm just going to mix it around. Still waiting for Tr Katrina to get her started. Yeah, because, um, you know, I'm, I'm a little slow. And then that's scent I'm going to use. Can you hear me the scents? Uh, which one was it? The thing. The scent I'm going to be using is peppermint. And I'm going to add a couple of drops in. I'm using peppermint oil. Two, three. I'm gonna put five drops out there. I see my coming. Oh, they come. Four. It takes a minute for these drops to five. So I'm gonna give it a good stir. And you can add much scent off in there, or less scent you want. I'm gonna smell it. I'm gonna go back in and add a couple more drops. You want the purple glitter? Yeah. Okay. You can start adding your scent in. Okay, I added my sin in. That's enough. <laughs> okay. Add some lemon off into it or some. I'm going to show you how how much flavor the living is right there. Okay, so I'm going to start adding my witch hazel. And you can either spray it. Because like I said, you want to you want to mow, be able to make a ball. But I'm just going to pull mine because I know how much to pull off in there. You said the uh, calm muscle has some smell. It does. It's strong. You got some on your chin. And I'm just adding my witch hazel. You can add witch hazel or water off in. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Why does it look like it's starting to form pinkish. a ball? It's pink. So, I'm just going to add a little bit more, and then mine be ready to start molding. How much did you put in it? Just put some more. Come on out. Oh. Okay, mine's is good, so I'm going to put that to the side. It's a big one. That's nice. Okay, so here's my first one. And if you don't want the edges around there, you can just wipe it off. But I'm just going to stick it off in my um, cupcake tray. And the way I do mine is I push mine down. Because I think, to me, it holds better. And then I just add some off in the middle. Like this. And then I just twist it around. Katrina's making a uh, medium ones, and I'm making a... Next to the biggest one, next to the biggest one. Oh, I broke. So here's my other one. 
I'm just cleaning the edges off and I'm just going to place it down off in a cup, cupcake holder. Same thing. I'm going to press down. Press down again. And then I'm going to take it and then I'm going to scoop it. How are you doing over there, Katrina? Still on my first one. Is it broke? And here's another one. I have a feeling this is going to break. This is going to break. Um, put some more wood chaser off in there. Why is mine messing up? So I'm going to take a little Katrina's. Just. Uh huh? Yeah. Swish it around, Katrina. I'm going to take some of Katrina's and just add it on top of there. And then just come in with mines. Press that down. Make a little bit higher. And then press them together. Yeah, can you hear it again? I'm taking out the edges. And I'm just squeezing it. Squeezing it together. I'm probably going to have to help you with yours. So and here's my other breaking. one. So I'm just going to take it and put it off in. Got it. Katrina got her first one out. That's a problem. Okay, you want to use the big one? So we're going to trade. And then if you want to get creative with it, just going to take a little Katrina's and put it off in here, fill it up. And then come over here, get some um, purple. And then I'm just going to smush them together. Make sure they're even. Yeah, make sure they even when you're doing this. Because I had that problem. So, bad so I'm just taking all the stuff off and around it. And here you go. And these take like 24 hours to dry. But you can use it like right off the back. You can still use it. But it does take 24 hours to dry. No, right? Takes forever. Oops, got that. And this is this is R D A Y D I Y bath bombs. And I'm gonna put a little on my purple in the inside. You can go. Gonna fill this side up, and I'm gonna make a little decoration. Oops. So I'm squeezing, squeezing. Making sure I get the edges right. Okay. And take that side off. If you can't get this side off, just tap. And it'll come right off. Tap it just a little bit. Don't go full hard it. Like I do. Okay, so you see the purple at the very top and then you got some um, brown at the edge and then you got purple at the bottom so I'm gonna gonna get this to Katrina so she can finish up and this is how you make your DIY bath bombs and then like like, I vacuum clean these, 
it comes with a um, hundred other sealers and you can seal them and you can keep these for a while or you can give them to friends or whatever you want to do but um, I'm gonna be making some labels for these these I did not make no label for but I'm gonna be making some labels and it's gonna have a name of what it is so mine's is a a purple Mine is a purple um, tea tree. That's what I put out for my tea tree. No, yeah. I put peppermint. Yeah. Mine's a purple. Peppermint. Oh, You need the little? Yeah. Or should I say medium size? Peppermint, um. Bath bomb. And Katrina, what was yours? Mine was. I don't know, I can't say the name. That one. Calm. Muscle. And lemon. Lemon? Oh, cool. Yeah, you can name it whatever you want. And you can um, you can put the label on the inside or you can put it on the outside. It don't make no difference, you know, which way you put the label. She's on her last one. Squeeze. Pretty. It shines. So, this is how your bath bombs will look after you finish with it. When it dries, it looks even better. When bigger. it dries, it looks even better. Like I said, you can use it right away if you want to. Or you can um, wait the 24 hours. You can stick it off in a freezer for like 6 hours if you want to. But, I'm not. I just let it air dry and... By the next day, they'll be ready to um, package. But if you like this DIY on making your own bath bomb, just drop me a comment at the bottom. You know, if you want to see different colors. So, if you like this video, we please, see. Uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe at the bottom. And plus, mind the mess of mine. Yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah. bye. Bye.